Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Shadow Alley on this channel. We talk about horror movies and silicone masks and the skeletons in my closet. So if you're into that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe and stick around. All right, I hate saying the same thing over and over and over again, but I bought this mask specifically for a short film and I never made the short film. I still might though, so I'm gonna keep the mask. But this is Gaunt from Composite Effects or CFX. And it was going to be a character in a short horror film that I wrote and I think I still might do it, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is. But what I really wanted from this mask was something that you couldn't quite tell if it was human like maybe if it had its hood up and you see it from a distance you'd look at it and you couldn't quite tell if it was a human or a person wearing a mask or what it was until they pull back their hood and you realize that it's some sort of monster that's kind of what I was looking for and I think this was a good fit so gaunt from composite effects or CFX masks now this also gives me a really good opportunity to talk about something that I feel people complain about that I don't think really is a complaint plain. Each one of these masks is completely different. Some of them the eyes fit me really well and some of them they don't. Some of them the lips fit really well and some don't. Some the flesh tone matches perfectly with my flesh tone and some don't. Each mask is an individual work of art. Yeah! Some of them are going to fit better than others just by way of the sculpt and your skin color and lots of other factors that are completely out of everybody's control. So if you get a mask and it doesn't quite fit around the eyes, it doesn't mean something's wrong with the mask. So this one, for example, it doesn't quite fit around my eyes as well as some other masks do. And this gaunt mask also has another version where they actually put flesh over top of the eyes and I wish I would have got that one because that would have completely solved the problem for me. Uh, but I got this one, maybe I'll trade this one in or sell this and get that one instead because I think that one would be a little bit easier for me to shoot on film since the eyes don't match up perfectly. But if you get a mask and the eyes don't work perfectly, you just light it differently or put a hood on them or shoot them from the side or the back. There's lots of ways to work with your mask. What the hell are we gonna do now? When you buy your mask, put it on, go in front of the mirror, move your mouth and see See how it reacts when you move certain ways. Move your eyes, move your head, learn the intricacies of your own mask, and then figure out what you need to do to get the best types of shots out of that particular mask. So this mask was uh, $575, I believe, from CFX, and this will probably be showing up in a short film sometime soon. That means nothing. So stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and put this mask on and see how it moves in really bright lighting so you can see it, and then more horror movie style lighting. So let's go take a look at the movement video. All right, it's kind of hard to tell that it doesn't quite fit on my eyes. Even with this bright light, it kind of does match pretty well. One problem with having a flesh color mask is that if your flesh doesn't match the flesh of the mask, it's really hard to blend those lines. For example, if you had a black mask, it would be really easy to just put black makeup around your eyes and it would match perfectly. But when you buy a flesh tone mask, it's really hard to paint your eyes to match a flesh tone. So you really need to make sure that you get a mask that completely matches your flesh tone or that you light it correctly so you don't see those things. But ignoring the tiny little issue with the eyes on this one, I think it's an incredible mask. It looks almost like a robot, but like a flesh robot sort of thing. I don't know. It's just completely creepy to me, and I really like it. And I was worried about being able to see my actual mouth through those slits, but it's not really a problem at all. And again, even if it was, you can light around it and shoot around it. It's no big deal. I think it looks amazing. Now let's put some horror movie lighting on it. All right, this is kind of how I originally saw it happening in the short film. He would maybe have a hood on off in the distance and you can't quite tell if it's a human or if it's not until he unmasks himself and you realize it is some sort of ridiculous monster. And again, lit properly, you can hide things uh, much easier. It looks much more like a creepy monster now and not like a mask. And I think it looks really creepy and really cool and I really like it. Pretty badass, right? All right, so Gaunt. CFX or composite FX, $575 comes in lots of different paint schemes. And like I said, it also comes in a version with flesh over the eyes. So that is also an option for you. And I might actually sell this one and go for that one because I think that one might even be a little bit cooler, but I like it. Cool welcome addition to my creepy collection and you will see it in an upcoming short film, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah, okay. So thank you for watching and please do all those things you're supposed to do to help a channel like like and comment and subscribe and share with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.